brand new update has arrived for the Magic 6 RSR and Magic 6 series in general. And I was talking about it already, but what I missed out and Honor apparently also missed out is telling us in their changelog that they also added AI Zoom finally to the Magic 6 series, which is I think a major feature that might help with longer zoom shots. But does it really? Let's find out in this short video. Actually, there's no indication for this in the app itself, in the settings or something like this where you can see it. But I like, by the way, the new buttons here. Press once, 135, it shows you the millimeters. Press again, 270, 10 times. And when I zoom in a bit further, like let's go to 30x, this is like the point where it turns itself on. It becomes a bit more stable. And you can see AI, the symbol there, is active. As you can see from the before and after, before taken with the Magic 6 Pro and after with the Magic 6 RSR and AI enabled, it's a clear improvement for sure and it catapults it to the same levels as the Magic 7 series that had this feature from the get-go. Is it dramatically better that I would say I have to lift the score for the Magic 6 RSR and the Magic 6 Pro when it comes to zoom lenses? Maybe a tiny bit there on the same level as the Magic 7 Pro, but not above the Magic 7 Pro. So we still have a lot of things that look way too artificial, especially as this only kicks in at 30x and right after you take the shot, it needs a bit of processing, probably even uploading it to some cloud before it then saves the image edited on your smartphone itself. So you need an internet connection for this as well. This is totally different to the approach that we see on Xiaomi or Vivo devices that also use AI to improve their images, but they don't know, need so much of processing or so long of processing and uploading it to some cloud server and then back to the phone itself. So it is a bit of a hit or miss, I would say. Nevertheless, it is still an improvement if you use 30x or more zooms, but I'll be completely honest, I don't. Probably you no, neither. So why do we care? Why should we care? Hopefully it's showing that Honor is working on improvements, giving them even to older devices, which is quite nice, also in terms of cameras. So I can hope that in the future we will have more improvements also coming to the older devices. And of course we will gain more improvements throughout the day, throughout the year, with every new release like the Magic 8 series is coming pretty soon, hopefully also with improvements in the AI department for image reconstruction basically, maybe even on device, maybe a bit cleverer, maybe even a bit faster and maybe on the same level as all the other ones. So what do you think about this one here? Write it down in the comment section. That's it for this short little video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye. Oh, I love it then when I want to create a slideshow or something like this. I just can do it on the phone itself with the inbuilt edit. It looks a little bit of CapCut, but it's not CapCut without all the advertisements and so on. I bought CapCut, uh, just to be clear. But yeah, this looks nice, I would say. So let's hit export here. And yeah, so the export is quite fine. As you can Fast. see from the before and after, before taking with the magic. Ah, it's working. Nice.